Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and if you're wondering what's now, well, now is now, and it's all about now. You'll figure it out. We start today's show off with some news about everyone's favorite social network, Facebook. Yesterday, the company announced its first earnings report since its IPO, and it made a ton of money. Facebook brought in a whopping $1.2 billion. That's a lot of money, which is good for Facebook, because ever since it went public, their stock has not been doing so well. Which is like... Just to fill you in, their stock is still down from its original offering price, so... Yeah... All this news comes around the same time that Mark Zuckerberg denies his company is working on a dedicated Facebook phone. So some interesting news with Facebook and we move on. From one social network to another. It looks like Twitter isn't playing nice with the popular photo sharing service of Instagram. Twitter has since blocked the ability for you to search for Twitter friends within Instagram. This is all probably caused by Facebook purchasing Instagram a little while ago. So who knows if the social network war will be resolved, but if you want, you can follow me, Curtis P, on Twitter and Instagram. My username is simply Curtis Parody. No space. It's simple. It's my name. From social networks to someplace to be social with people in real life, if you're a fan of Ferris wheels like myself, I love Ferris wheels, then you'll love this next piece of news. It looks like the Las Vegas Strip will soon be host to the world's tallest observation wheel. This new wheel is dubbed, surprisingly, the High Roller and it will stand a whopping 550 feet tall. That will make it nine feet taller than the Singapore Flyer, which is currently the world's tallest, and 110 feet taller than the famous London Eye. The High Roller is the new centerpiece to the planned $550 million development dubbed Lynx, which is expected to open next year, located between the Imperial Palace and the Flamingo on the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, from one place that will soon be getting a huge Ferris wheel to another that already has one. Today, the London 2012 Olympics are kicking off and possibly by the time you're watching this, they've already started. It's a great time for all of the world to come together for a short time and partake or watch the amazing sports at the Olympics. But the best part for me personally of this entire event is the opening ceremonies. Ever since I was young, I remember watching the opening ceremonies of the games and being amazed by everything they do. From the amazing performances to the lighting of the torches, it's all amazing. And from what I heard about this year, the opening ceremonies will not disappoint, so I look forward to watching that. I have to say my all time favorite opening ceremonies have to be the 2000 Sydney Olympics. When the Olympic cauldron actually rose out of the water around the torch bearer, I was like, yeah! So London, now it's your turn to dazzle the world. I'll be following the Olympics as close as I can on my Facebook and Twitter and elsewhere online. And to end off this week's show, one geeky story for you all. If you've ever wondered what the iPad and the iPhone actually look like while Apple was originally working on it, some design photos have been released online and you would be shocked to see all the different shapes of the devices that were tested. Also, one fun fact, the iPad was originally going to be called the iPod until Apple used that name for their music player. So check out the links below for all of those cool Apple things to see. Now going back to talk about the Olympics, I want to know, are you planning on watching the games? And if you live in the UK, are you planning to actually go there in person? Tell me in the comments section below, or you can let me know on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and more in the description below. When you're done commenting, why not click on the subscribe button above, or I believe it's actually in that corner right there. Once you click on that, all of the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button below because you like this video, you like the content, and or you liked me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.